Hi, my name is Colton Hansen. I'm a member of the Syracuse FFA chapter, and my partner, Lauren Buchholz, is behind the camera, so she's unable to be in the video right now. But um, today, we have a 1964 Minneapolis Moline U302 that runs on propane. Um, today, we're going to be showing you just a few things about the tractor, um, what we did to it while we restored it. Um, first, we'll start with the engine. We have a 220 cubic inch motor that has a five and a half inch stroke that pushes out about 49 horsepower at the drawbar and 52 at the power takeoff. As we come around the front of the tractor, we put a few safety chains as we haul it from, say, the state fair to the county fair and maybe possibly to Indianapolis for safety so we can hook it to the trailer so it can't possibly roll off. Um, over here we have a brand new wiring harness, we have a brand new generator, brand new distributor cap, brand new spark plug, spark plug wires. Um, the whole engine has been rebuilt from the crankshaft bearings to piston rings, rod bearings. Um, the heads have been reworked. Um, the engine has got a complete overhaul so it's like a brand new motor. Um, here you can see as the transmission we replaced the pinion shaft. And if you can see it, we have some chips that have been taken out of it. So we replaced that. We also replaced an Amplifork frag clutch in the transmission that was bad. Um, that's pretty much means the two speed of the transmission um, we had to replace. Um, here we have brand new tires that were donated by Titan Tire Company in um, Iowa, Clarinda, Iowa. Um, they donate tires to 4-H and FFA clubs for FFA projects and 4-H projects. If you come around to the back of the tractor, um, we have the hydraulics. Um, the only thing I did not restore on the tractor was the hydraulics. Um, I just didn't have enough um, experience or know-how, nor did Lauren, I guess. Um, so that's the only thing on the tractor that hasn't been restored. But we have functional hydraulics. They work great. Um, we got a brand new paint job on the tractor, which took lots of time. While we're back here, I'll talk about the rear end. Um, we did a complete overhaul on the rear end. Uh, when we tore the rear end apart, we found two bad bull gears that turned the axle gears. Um, I'll just show you an example of what we took out and replaced. Um, we have a bull gear here that's chips out of the, the gears here. Obviously not good. Um, we replaced all new bearings, oil seals, um, anything that could be could need to be replaced, we replaced it, even if it may not have been. Um, we have a brand new battery for a brand new tractor. Um, now I'll show you what the tractor does when it runs, show you everything that works. Um, the reason we're inside today is because it's really windy outside. Um, it would be make it a bad video environment if we were outside. So first I'll come over here and show you how to start the tractor. It's a little bit different than a gas tractor or a diesel tractor. First you have to turn a vapor valve on on the propane tank <clears throat> and the propane goes through a vaporizer and then to the carburetor and then to the intake. Um, some safety um, procedure on the factory before you start it, it actually has a safe gear which you have to put in S, safe gear before the tractor will start. Um, it's just a safety thing Minneapolis Moline had on our tractors. Make sure the park brake's on, 